the area under this, well, all right, what is the area under the curve in the second quadrant? All right, uh, I'm going to rewrite that as x minus 1 to the negative 2. And then to get the area under the curve, you this would be an improper integral from that picture. Uh, let's just draw the picture real quick. It's, it crosses the x-axis. It crosses when, if you make x0, it crosses at uh, positive 1. So it looks something like that. But here, there's an asymptote. So it never touches the x-axis. So we'd have to go from negative infinity all the way to 0, right? That, that corresponds to negative infinity all the way to 0. That's the x. Those are the limits of integration. All right. So the integral that we'd be using is this. However, when you do, I think these are called improper integrals. Um, when you're using that negative infinity, um, you substitute, you say the limit as, I use k, as k approaches negative infinity from k to 0 and, and so on. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. I don't know if this is right, actually, but we'll see. Uh, I'll use a u substitution. x minus 1 du equals dx. So that's nice. So I'll go from k to 0. The limit, I'll copy down. And uh, so it'll be, whoops, it'll be u to the negative 2 du. The antiderivative, actually, my, my values would change. So I don't have that yet, but I'll, I'll get them back. Uh, this would be u to the negative 1 with a negative, right? Because if I take the derivative, that would bring that down and make it negative 2. Okay. Um, and then, well, that's plus c, but then I'm going to switch back. So it'll be this, which is the same thing as this. And this is going to go from k to 0. And I'm taking the limit of it. As k approaches negative infinity. So I'll plug in the 0. And I'll just get negative 1 over negative 1. That's just 1. And then minus, I'll plug in the k. Uh, k minus 1. So that'll be 1 minus, no, plus 1 over k minus 1. And then I'm taking the limit of that as k approaches negative infinity. So what do I have? Uh, this goes to negative infinity. That's an 8. Well, if this goes to, if the bottom goes to infinity or negative infinity, and the top is staying the same, then the whole thing goes to zero. So this will go to zero, and I'm left with one. So this is actually equal to one. So your answer is exactly one. And that's it. I just checked it also, and it's right.